so it will be a real quick video uh, to show how we can log into this mobile server so let's first try on the left hand side window how we can log into this mobile server so to do that we will use ssh client that means ssh uh, your username and then snowball.cs.gcs.edu and then it will ask for your password provide your password yes so we have successfully logged into this mobile server let's see uh, if i am at my correct location yes it is now showing my current working directory this is my current working directory for your case it will show your current working directory uh, okay now we need um, another window because we want to connect to the snowball to transfer files from our local machine from our local computer to the snowball server also we want to download some file if we need from the snowball server to our local machine so to do that you will need a another terminal that you will be connected through sftp protocol so sftp is a secure file transfer protocol uh, that you will use in another terminal please note that you must use another uh, terminal so let's type sftp and then again username and then snowball.edu it will again ask for your password okay we are done so now it is ready to um ready for the file transfer that means you can transfer files to the snowball server and you can also download files from the snowball server so we have a file here in this local directory uh, myfile.txt that is what i want to uh, transfer or we can maybe transfer another file as you can see that I have a file named uh, receipts.pdf. So let's transfer this file to the Snowball server. So uh, to transfer, that means to upload our local file to the Snowball server, we will use put receipts.pdf. So here I am showing a PDF example. The file can be text file, PDF file, or another image file, whatever you you want to upload so let's upload this pdf file yes you have uploaded the receipts.pdf uh, in your case probably you will upload a text file or some other file as you wish and now you can see that if this file has been correctly uploaded or not so to do that you must use the left hand uh, side terminal that you already used to log into the snowball server so let's execute the ls command and see if we have the file yes we received the file here at the snowball server receives.pdf now we'll do another thing uh, we have shown here one example of how you can upload a file from your local machine to the snowball server uh, now one thing you have to do is um, downloading a file from the snowball server to your local machine so let's say we will download this uh, zombie.c okay so if we want to download these files we have to use get zombie.c yes so we have already downloaded um, this uh, into our local directory so i was in a, I, I was in my download directory so this zombie.c files must be 
within the downloads directory so let's again execute ls command and see if the zombie is here yes zombie is here so one thing i just wanted to mention again please note that when you will use put function put command to upload a file you must ensure that your file the file you are trying to upload is within your local directory the directory you are currently at you must make sure that and also when you use get to download a file you must check that file's presence in your current local directory that's it thank you